In this video, we'll learn about dividing decimals. So we've got here 1.2 divided by 2.4. The first thing to do with this is to turn it into a fraction. So it means the same as 1.2 over 2.4 because that division symbol is the same as a fraction just like having the numbers instead of the dots so in this case we do 1.2 divided by 2.4 so what we're going to do now is to multiply the top number and the bottom number by 10 with the aim of getting rid of the decimal points so that we can then work with whole numbers. If I multiply 1.2 by 10, I get 12. If I multiply 2.4 by 10, because it has to be multiplied by the same number, I get 24. Now I could use the bus stop method and do 12 divided by 24, or I can continue to simplify the fraction. So I could divide now, the numbers by 2, both of them, to keep the fraction the same. So 12 divided by 2 gives us 6, 24 divided by 2 gives us 12. I can still divide this by 3 or 2, let's go by 3, that gives us 2 over I can still divide this by 2, so that gives me 1 over 2 or a half. And we know that a half, if we need to write the answer as a decimal, that is going to be 0 0.5. Let's now do 36.9 divided by 8.2. Let's have a look at another example. We're going to do 7.2 divided by 1.6. So to get rid of the decimal point, we're going to multiply both of the numbers by 10. 7.2 times 10 gives us 72. 1.6 times 10 gives us 16. I can now divide both of the numbers by 2 to simplify the fraction. So then I get 36 and get 8, which means I can still divide them by 2. So that gives me 18 and that gives me 4. And I can keep going, dividing again by 2. So, get 9 over 2. 9 now divided by 2, we know the answer to that is 4.5. I've got 6.8 divided by 9. So what do I do now? You'll probably know already that the another way I can write this is as a fraction. So 6.8 divided by 9.6 because this line, the fraction line, means division. Just like we have the division symbol and also the fraction where we get a number at the top and then that's divided by the bottom number so 6.8 divided by 9.6 what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply the top and the bottom number by 10. the aim is to get it out of the decimal form so work then with whole numbers so if i multiply by 10, 
6.8 times 10 gives me 68 and 9.6 times 10 is 96. So this is the same as 68 divided by 96. Now, if I want, I can just use the bus stop method and go 68 divided by 96. However, I can also do this and simplify the fraction. So 68 and 96, what can they both be divided by? What's that number? And looking at that, that's an 8 and that's a 6, so I can divide them both by 2. So if I divide by 2, then I'm going to have 34 over Now I can simplify this even further. I can divide both of the numbers by 2. So that's going to give me 17 over 24. Can I go any further? No, I can't because 17 can only be divided by 1 or 17. So it's a prime number. And 17 doesn't fit into 24 without a remainder. So now it's time to do that division. So 17 divided by 24. How many 24s would fit into 17? That would be 0. And we have 17 remaining. So how many 24s into 170? And I can do that here. So 24 and 24 gives me 48. So that's two lots of 24. If I add another lot of 24, making it three altogether, I get 72. If I add to 72 another lot of 24, making it 4 all together, it's 6, 96. There is still a long way to go, so I'm going to add two lots of 24, so I'm going to add 48, making it 6 lots of 24 all together. And let's see what happens. So 6 and 8, that is 14. 9, 10, 14, so 144. So it's getting close to that. 144, if I add 24, gives me 8, 6, 168. So that is 7 lots. 168, if I add anything more, if I try and add another lot of 24, that's going to go over 170. So I'm going to stop at 7. And what is left is just 2, because 170, take away 168, leaves us with just 2. Now we can add a 0. How many 24s into 20? There would be 0 lots of it. So 20 carried over. What about into 200? How many lots of 24 would fit into 200? We've got this 168 already, which was 7 lots of it. So if I add another 24, making it 8 lots of it. So 8 and 4 is 12, 7, 9, 192, which is very close to 200. So that is 8. And we can continue with this. But I think this is a good point to stop at because we've got three decimal places in the number. So 0 0.708. Let's try another two decimals. So we've got 4.8 divided by 1.24. So we'll convert this into a fraction. 
to get rid of the decimal points we're going to multiply by 10 and that's going to give us 48 over 12.4 so we still have a decimal point here which means we're going to multiply by 10 again despite the fact that this is a whole number now so that's going to give us 480 124 now we can simplify the fraction so 480 divided by 124 i can divide both of them by 2 so that's going to give me 240 and this gives me 62 i can still divide them by 2 so 120 divided by 31 Now, as it happens, 31 is also a prime number, so we can't go any further. So now we're going to do 120 divided by 31. So how many 31s that fit into 120? Four lots of 30 would fit into 120. However, Four lots of 31 will be more than 120 so we're going to stop at three lots of it three lots of 31 give us 93 so what is left it's going to be 27 so we'll put a decimal point there now add a zero how many lots of 31 would fit into 270? So three lots of 31, we said, give us 93. If I add another 93, that gives us 186. So that is six lots already now i could add not 93 but 62 so another two lots to make eight lots in total six and two is eight eight and six is 14 one and one is two so 248 so I'll put 8 there. What is left? 270, take away 248. That is 22. So the question is now, how many lots of 31 fit into 220? We have 186 here already, 6 lots. Can we fit another one? Yes, we can. So 31 times 7 rather than 6. So that is 7, 21, 217, which is very close to 220. So we'll put 7 here and we've got 3 remaining. We add a 0. How many 31s into 30? That is zero lots of it. And then we continue with 300 and so on. But it's a good point to stop at this one now because we've got three digits after the decimal point. I hope this gives you an idea of how to divide decimals because dividing decimals is needed in everyday life and especially when it comes to money, but measurements and many other topics.